take the case of a marble rolling off of a desk. That should never happen to your desk. Um, but you wonder where it lands after it rolls off your one meter tall desk at five meters. First, we have uh, identified what's happening and what's being asked. The marble's falling, and what's being asked is how far away from you will it land? So, delta x, question mark. Um, next, do you want to draw a picture? We've got the picture here already. It starts from here, which is our time frame now. Up until not when it hits the ground, but just before it hits the ground. Because when it hits the ground, it does feel some pain, so you don't want to deal with that. So now that we've established the time frame um, and we know that we're looking for uh, what would be delta x from your to ground, to where it lands, to where you go. Um, now we can start to work on the important vital information. And remember, we got to do that separately. Um, first, let's write down vertical information. So vertically, you know, and remember, we have to uh, examine x and y separately. So vertically, we know that before this thing rolls off the edge of the table, the initial velocity in the y direction, well, it hasn't started falling yet. So if it hasn't started falling yet, it's zero. Um, we know that the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second because you are on Earth, and that's what the acceleration is. You see gravity on Earth is. You know that it falls one meter. So commonly, students make the biggest mistake and call delta y equal to one meter, but it fell. Um, when we chose our coordinates, we choose up as positive, down as negative as part of our force function. And we drop one meter. So if we drop one meter, that's a negative point. And we wouldn't, uh, we'd like to know time. We don't know. It would be helpful um, because we would need that for our x information. Let's look at that x information. So horizontally, what do you know? Well, you know that you rolled off the table at this rate of 5 meters per second. You'd like to know where you land, delta x question mark. Gosh, it'd be nice if we knew time. Because if we knew time, then we got two out of three variables, and then we can use um, the third, fourth, uh, the definition of velocity that we just did with the x. So, yeah, it would be nice to be able to use this one. But we can't use it if we only have one of those two. So let's go back over here and find two. So with those four variables, what equation relates them all? Well, we have this lovely equation. Let me look at the equation sheet. Now, Sometimes students say, well, well, I got it wrong because I chose the wrong equation. No, you don't choose the wrong equation. The information chooses it for you. There's an equation that has these four variables, vi, a, delta y, and t. If you did steps one through four correctly, then you have the right information down. There is no choosing of an equation. You can't choose the wrong equation. You can write down the wrong information, but uh, you know if you have these four variables, you look for the equation that can help you with those four variables, and here it is. Uh, but we need t, so let's solve for t. We already know that term is zero because the initial velocity is zero. So let's algebraically get t by itself. Uh, we should get rid of this one-half a term that's in front of it, so let's... Uh, multiply by the reciprocal 2 over a. So 2 delta y over a equals t squared. Well, then we just want t, so we take the square root of that. Oh, in this case, delta y was 1, so uh, 2 times 1 divided by a is going to be the square root of uh, 1.92 over 9.8, and I believe that gives you about uh, 0 0.4 ish. So um, maybe 0 0.45. Oh, 
that's not my goal. And my mom is still my goal, so. But this is great. We've got T, and with T, we can bring that over here to our um, horizontal information. So now we know T, 0 0.45 seconds. So then we can find delta x. Delta x equals velocity 5 meters per second times time 0 0.45 seconds. So we must have went approximately 2.3 meters. Again, I'm just guessing, so my algebra might be slightly off. You're welcome to correct me. And that's how we apply these problem solving strategies to uneven surfaces.